There's a bad guy on the other side of this door. Oh shit! That's <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> God, that scared me. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do a little bit of work on the place uh, for the first part of the episode, uh, and then we're going to go do some questing afterwards. So, let's see here. I have uh, started setting up the warehouse. Uh, these are all medium chests, and of course, none of them are magic chests, because I think I'm going to hold off on magic chests until we can make the big ones, um, and in the meantime, we'll just, you know, we'll just manually do stuff. I also have them on this back wall because when we do get to the big chest, you know, then we'll start our permanent storage probably more over on this side so that it's closer uh, to the building. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, what the hell do you want? This guy keeps yelling at me. Tall tales. You know, I grew up in the capital. They used to tell stories, stories I shared, sign of Queen Pike meets Gracious Shrewl. Daughter said, saw them once, child's tales. As usual, pause the screen to read that because I've already been through all this stuff in season one. Um, yeah, so did that give us a new quest from you? Um, well, we already had the blacksmith's tools requests and finding masonry tools for the carpenter. Oh, yeah, we got to finish uh, setting down our collector. He's our new guy. And, um, don't know if we're quite ready to take on Fell Wisp Wyvern yet. We probably could. But not, not really sure about that yet. All right, let's grab this. And we have to... Got to get our our creepy, creepy guy out. Uh, I don't even know where the hell we're going to put him. I guess we'll... Uh, I guess we'll put him over here for now. So, Alden Crowley the Collector. All right. I'm not gonna bite you. <laughs> you better not. I'll kick you in the nuts. Uh, let's see. The collector at your service. Mm. I'm free at last, thanks to you, my friend. All names mm. are fleeting. Just sound and smoke. I have as many as an hour glass, uh, hourglass has grains of sand. To you, I'll be Alden. I am the light that beckons downstream, a fading star behind the north winds, a collector, a breaker of earthly chains. I shall part the veil for you once you're ready. The toll is little, I promise you, friend. Yeah, okay. Um, the skulls of our enemies. The maniacal hollow are driven by resentment. They must be set free. Return to the winds of fate. Slash through their white hot anger. Crack their pale fingers like wishbones. Pluck the gold teeth from their jaws and bring me the head of the one-eyed beast in their midst. So we may drink from its skull. Gather your might and craft the key to descend. Okay, so that's the Revelwood boss. The flame's blessing. The people follow your lead, bright-eyed friend. Why? I see a pulsing light inside your rib cage, held by flesh and bone. Interesting. Perhaps you've done as I could not. Flameborn, they call you. So the flame bestows you blessing and curse. Oh, how the thread of fate unwinds to bring us together, friend. A tainted breeze. It hangs over the breeze with each fresh breath I take. An unknown foulness settles in my lungs. What is this? Another curse? The shroud, you say? A malignant fog to suffocate the foolish and brave? Such mortal matters hardly faze those who rise beyond. You and I, flame-touched as we are, will carry on nonetheless. The one-eyed beasts. The north wind carried them downstream. They hailed from the faraway crags. Monolithic and stalwart. Cyclopic gaze peering towards the dancing gusts of light on the horizon. Drawn to the shimmers like moths to the flame and fatefully greedy. They fled once burnt and hollowed by the curse. Do not show them mercy. They crush you to dust given the chance. All right. There we go. Okay, so. You can make us the Revelwood Bone Key. I hmm, I hope we have 50 ectoplasm fragments. I know we brought some of that back. Um, we can do the Bone Channel Spell. That seems pretty damned expensive. The one thing about this spell, too, that I don't like is it. it uh, it's very expensive. It runs out quickly. A Skull Summoning Vessel. Okay. Um, arrows, Ectoplasm Gym. 
a faceted gemstone made from refined frozen ectoplasm. Crypt table and crypt chair. All right, cool. Um, we're certainly not ready to do the Revelwood dungeon yet, but do I have a 50 ectoplasm uh, thingamadoodles? And they would be in here if I did. Oh, I have 150. Okay. Yeah, so we got that, and he said bones too, right? Uh, where did I put bones? Don't remember. Maybe I put them in with the wood. Yeah, there we go. Bones and wood, you know? They're kind of the same thing. A little bit. Not really. <laughs> hey, hey! Hello. There we go. Okay, so we made our rebel wood bone key. You will return. Is that something that stays in our inventory, or...? Yeah, it does. Okay. So it's not like a... It doesn't have, like, a special quest slot. All right, well, we're not going to be carrying this around with us right now. Uh, but I hope to God I remember to grab it when the time does come for us to go do the Revelwood Dungeon. Put that back in there for now. Okay. Um, I think, I think what I'm going to do, well, once we use this for the final time, I think I'll just move the health potions down to here because there's not really a whole lot of point in having bandages and health potions one or the other, you know? Alrighty. So I think, Hey, Man, you guys are just eager beavers. Okay, what do you want? What? That faceless creature. Your newest friend is yours alone. They have the stench of decay on them, seeping from their robes and breath. I watch them. They linger near the altar, glare at the fire, at the cinders and ash. I see no reflection in their eyes, no light. It gives me shivers like Howling Pike did. Like old Howling Pike did. Oh, by the way, we need to make our medium backpack too. Six dried fur, sick linen. Uh, you know, lady, don't judge. Get over it. I know he's weird. But, uh, we're, we're going to welcome him into the home unless he eats our brains. And then in that case, then we'll kick him out. Um, what am I doing? Oh, we're getting, oh, Jesus, I can't remember. <laughs> well, I know. Okay. We needed, um, we needed, uh, dry fur. And what was the other thing she wanted? Sucks getting old, man. You forget shit. Linen. Yeah, of course. Linen. That's going to be, I think, in here. Yep, look at that. Okay, let's make our medium backpack. I'm surprised I haven't done that already. I probably have been able to do it for a while, but just didn't think about it. That's 16 slots. Okay. Catch you later. So let's go here. Uh, no. Yeah. All right, cool. So, give us some more slots. That's a beautiful thing. I don't see any reason at all to carry this anymore. Let's delete it. That's a good thing. Uh, we'll put this in there, and linen can go back in here. Well, one of you guys were telling me that if I change my mouse to smooth scrolling... That I can get more fine-tuned angles with the rake. Um, all right, let's see what you have to say first. About the collector. I tasked you to visit the hollow halls, so I fear our new associate is partly my doing. You know I walk a path of light. This individual lingers in the shadows. Shelter for all, of course, but I advise caution. This creature twists the strands of fate and ties them into a chaotic swirl. Such dark energy. I wonder how they've obtained such powers. So, yeah, you don't like him either, huh? Okay, whatever. Like I said, yeah. You're not gonna, you're gonna, not gonna cause any trouble, are you? You better don't. Okay, I don't care who you are. If you cause trouble, I'll melt you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, let's see. What are we doing now? We got our backpack. We talked to all of our peeps. Uh, oh, rake. Yeah, we we're gonna try the rake out. And I, I need to get some more. Uh, road dirt as well. Let's grab this. We'll grab the rake. And 
Let's, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that garden there for the moment. Let's go outside of the boundary of our... Um... Our altar. And I just want to get some road dirt. This is outside, I think, isn't it? Whoops. Wrong thing. What am I doing? We're pressing this key. That's what we're doing. Alright, so the boundary... Ends right there. Okay, so we can we can harvest any of this, and it'll it'll respawn when we log out. Okay, let's equip the rake. And let's see. Uh, R to change angle, right? Okay. If I press this on my mouse, hmm. maybe I don't have. What do I have? I have a Logitech G403 Hero gaming mouse. Um, but I don't know how to, uh, I, I, maybe I can't set it to like a smooth scroller. I mean, I can. I think that's just a sensitivity button there. Whoops. But it doesn't seem to be affecting the angle of the the rake. Hmm. Okay. Well, um kinda flattens that out a little oh, no. Alright, undo that. Well let's do this. Let's grab the building hammer. And go down to dirt. And then go to, yeah, dirt roadblock. And then... What if we... Actually, here, let's try this ramp. A steep ramp. Not so steep ramp. Um, okay, just a little piece to kind of fill that in. <clears throat> okay, now let's go back to the rake again. And I have it on... That's just the flat... Yeah, it doesn't... Uh, I can't go any shallower than this angle here. I mean, that, that doesn't look terrible. Now, if we come up here and flatten it and then just do that <clears throat> you know to kind of remove that little peak there yeah I, it's not it's not by any stretch of the imagination perfect but I think it's passable <laughs> so I don't know I don't know we tried doesn't seem to be working for me though maybe I just don't have the right kind of mouse I don't know uh, let's put the this back in here we'll put this back in here and this can go back in here and uh, these items can go in here all right um I think I think that's all we're gonna do for for building stuff we didn't really do a whole lot of building stuff but I want to go quest so let's go quest what do we want to do 
We have um, ectoplasm press for the collector. Find. Wait. Oh, we ha we have to get that in the Revelwood halls. Okay. Um, test of skill for the hunter. Investigate the area. Where is that at? That is there. There's also two elixir wells nearby. We could go knock both of those out and get some points. Um, that's my copper mine. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we go to the spire, hit this well, do the hunter's hidden hunting ground quest, hit this well, and then we'll kind of see where we are from there. How am I doing on food? Put this down here. Yeah, we seem, I think we're in pretty good shape on food. Those are the cooked, the cooked shrooms, right? Okay. Uh, is it starting to get dark? Yeah, it's, we got a little bit of time. Let's just go. Do I have, um, oh, I don't have any, any of the light flasks. Uh, what are they called? Wisp of light. See if we can make a couple of these. I'm going to pin that recipe. We got plenty of bug dust and resin. I'm not so sure on glow dust. I think I'm putting magic stuff up here. Or no, alchemy stuff, rather. Uh, we got three glow dust. Bunch of bug dust. And we can make one more bug dust, I think. Resin is down here, I think. Yes. All right, we'll grab that. I farmed up a whole bunch of that because we need it for the fireball spells. And we want to talk to you. Make us some bug, or no, glow dust. All right, and then make us only two. Damn it. I need to go uh, firefly hunting. That's what I need to do. you about uh, both back in there well that gives us two at least it's better than not having two all right let's go to here oh I forgot to un uncraft the the thing crafts people bolts are uh, why is the no 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 hold on go go back to journal Balthazar. That just goes back to my own inventory. Do I need to go... I thought I could get into the... His crafting menu from here. Do I need to go to the workshop instead? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. And then go to Wisp of Light and unpin. Okay. Gotcha. All right, let's see. We want to hit this first uh, elixir well here. What is that? Oh, we should go down there, actually, because there's a block in there. Yeah, change of plans. It'll give us another building block to work with. It's just right down there. Uh, we need to buff up. Let's do that. We'll take one of you. And one of you. And one of you. And one of you. And one of you. I don't think I'll take the elixir because we're going to be down in the shroud probably for this whole thing. Okay, let's go. So yeah, this is just a, a crypt. One of the bigger, bigger crypts. 
and we get a new block when we're done with it. Since it's just right here, we might as well do it. the screen to read um let's nuke this guy uh, so we can get the shroud sack off him all right into the scary crypt we go There's anything that way. Oh my god, I couldn't quite get away from him in time. Oh! Sneaking up on me like that, man. All right. There's something over there. I don't know what it is. It's another one of them dudes. Something over there. Oh, it's just a, a thing that probably has like scrap metal or something in it. Or cloth. Cloth works too. It's so damn dark in here. Uh, oh, we need to find a button. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop one of these. Okay. I've only done this place once, so I don't remember exactly all that I did to do it. Drop down here. What's that noise? Ah, one of these deals. Okay. Um, go to here, go to here. How come? No. There we go. Okay. Is there anything in here? There's a silver chest. More runes, more cloth, fireball, two spells, nice. I like it. Oh shit. Bugaboo's all over the place.
Axe. Oh, what I heard. All right. Let's get Fireball 2 out for the Wraith. Just wand you down. Hit her again. Does this place have one of those? Uh, flasks that you can drink. You know, to increase your shroud time. So I'm starting to get a little concerned. What are you? Oh, that's what you are. We did not need that to happen to us. Damn it, Jim. Let's go back to Fireball 1. Okay. Let's take that. Let's put this uh, down here. I hope, we're, I hope we're getting close to the end because we are running out of shroud time. Another button. Okay. There it is. All right, you know what? We need to go. We need, we'll come back. Um, or I'm going to get myself killed here. This is a pretty big crypt. Um, all right. I don't know what the fastest way is to get out of here. So let's just run this way. There's a bad guy over there. Cut it out. What direction am I running? I need to go this way. Right? This way. We have 50 seconds. I hope we can find a high spot. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. God damn it. Ugh. Um, let's see if we can run. Nope, we can't go anywhere along the red muckety muck. What happens when we die in this game? I can't remember. <laughs> Do we lose our inventory? Been playing a lot of Planet Crafter. Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna die. That sucks. Okay. <clears throat> Certain bat. Oh, <clears throat> okay. No, we don't. I mean, we drop some of our stuff, but we don't. We can come back and get it. It's not like deleted. Um, in Planet Crafter, 
at least with the settings I'm playing on, uh, it gets deleted. Okay, um, we still need to... Let's see. I wonder if there's some way I could get up above here. Bramble Spine Boneyard. Uh, because we need to get completely out of the shroud in order to... completely reset it and to take another potion. I just don't remember where the best place to do that is. So we'll just keep running along this way. Oh, was that... Deadly Shroud? It's red. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, we might as well uh, just go back home and sleep and repair, and then we'll come back and hit it again in the morning. This has turned out to be a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Story of my life, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, heal up here. We can put those in there. That's heal chain. Magic stuff goes in the top. Heal chain's pretty much useless on single player, though. All right. Go back to the spire. The other thing, too, is the last time I went in there, I was in in the game and I was completely maxed out. So I just walked in there and thumped everything and grabbed it, you know, and that is obviously not the case this time around. Let's take the ice potion too. And last of the fell. Okay. Let's go get our shit first. We were look how close. <laughs> God damn it. Look how close we were to getting out of the shroud. Like 20 more feet. Oh well, isn't that the way it goes? In fact, let's get back out of the shroud. Just to top off here. Maybe we'll even climb up here and glide back down. Here we go.
That resets our shroud, but it doesn't allow us to drink potions. This place didn't repop, did it? Jeez, I hope not. It's like all the doors closed, but the monsters aren't back. Okay. So we came down here. And I think this is where we left off. that potion um what's in here This ladder here. They're really making us work for this block. Alright, nothing that way. Two doors. A left door and a straight door. Let's hit the left door first. Oh, let's not get into that. Come on. I'm trying to blow that damn thing up. <clears throat> there we go. Weathered stone block. Nice. There's a bad guy on the other side of this door. Oh shit! That's <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> God, that scared me. Uh, wrong thing. Um, yeah, we don't like you either. God, that scared me. Okay, here. We need to get to Fireball 2. And out of here. Oh, shit. Run away. <laughs> scared the bejeebus out of me, man. Run back this way. I completely forgot we had to fight a boss in here. Is that other guy still alive? Or did we kill him? We must have killed him. Okay. Miss me, sucker. Oh, did we get him? We did. Yeah, yes. Whew. Okay, I'm awake now. <laughs> Jeez. It's, it's like I said, you know, when I came down here, I was like max level. And we came in here and we probably just bitch slapped that boss and it didn't even occur to me that... I, I, I forgot all about it. Because why would I remember, you know? Um, what did we just get? A level 15 fire wand. It's the same one we have, but it's got one more thingy down there, so it's, it will probably be a tiny bit of an upgrade. Oh, shortcut. We like shortcuts. Ah, oh, my goodness. That got the blood pressure going. Okay, um... 
If we just run this way, we should be able to get, get up on the bank and get out of here. Er, yeah. Well, I'm just going to avoid those guys for now. Actually. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's a dude stuck in the in the muck. We have a little bit of time, so let's farm these um, shroud sacks. Okay. Yeah, I figured we'd waltz into the that dungeon and go grab the block and be out in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. I should know better. We need to go this way. Rude. As if what I'm doing to him isn't rude. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, yeah. Let's go along here. There's a... There's our, um... What's it, what's it called? Amber. Our amber mine. Bunch of it down here. I've got uh, over a full stack of it at the moment, though. Whew. Okay. Wowzers. Um. Why don't we... Let's hit this elixir well, and we'll, we'll, we'll get this one later, because we're kind of running out of time. But we'll, we will do this one. So, set as a waypoint. Hidden hunting grounds. All right. Want to go? Wait, which way are we going? Down that way. Okay. Let's give ourselves a. Square to heal. And we'll top off on this. And we're heading down towards that. It looks well. Okay, here we go. That's actually in the other shroud, though. On the other side of this one. Oh, nice. We got a little extra glide out of the deal. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get a little bit of stamina back. It's also time to replenish you. Get you on fireball. And where is this well at? More over. Oh, I see it. it that big tree was in the way. That's why I couldn't see it at first. Go away, pigs. Seriously, guys? Yeah, you don't want a piece of me. All right. I warned you. I was content to just let you live, but you had to mess with the bowl. And you got the horn. Okay, uh, looks like we're good on our flask. Let's do this. Get ourselves another point. Eh, 
Man, we even got a level right now. Uh, okay, let's actually... Look at that before we go down. Two points. We are working... Oh, we already got Radiant Aura. Nice, okay. Um, I think... I think we wanted to... Start moving up the lightning tree. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do thunder. And then we'll go down and deal with whatever's going on down here. Okay. Guess we'll go this way first. You're not dead? You are now. Uh, get out of there. Alright. What's going on over there? dead. Move down through here. There's the root way over that way. enough over? I think so. I don't know why that guy's not shooting at me. I'm not complaining. He is. Muckety muck. You get out of here. So this is one of those routes that has just a bunch of enemies but no actual boss boss, I think. It is down. Okay. Yeah, lots of enemies. My goodness, look at them all. Shroud spores for us. And cloth. And runes. And arrows. And whatever else. Let's go this way. So we 
we can figure out where the chest is. Lots of bugaboos. Oh, another one of you. Aren't you guys supposed to be taking damage? Oh yeah, they are. They're taking damage. There's just no... There's no visible effect of it. Other than their, you know, their damage bar. Um, let's do this. out of the shroud for a second. Alright, we want to loot you because you drop a shroud core. Is there a chest over here? Not that I can see. I think. Oh shit! Careful. Hmm. Oops. All right. Let's go back up this way. guys and somebody's shooting at me from somewhere don't know where the hell are you at dude all right we'll wait for that to clear We also need to redo uh, this buff here. Oh, there you are. Okay. I don't know where the chest is in this place. Unless it's like up there or something. Alright, we're gonna do a fireball two for you. Oh shit! <laughs> Couldn't blink out the way in time. God damn it. Oh man. That's like our second second death just in one episode. That's terrible. Don't tell anybody, guys, okay? If you do, I'll deny it. I'll say, nope, that never actually happened. They just thought it did. All right, let's take that. Uh, I'm going to take this, too. And that's all we have. All right, let's go get our stuff. You're on Fireball 2. Yeah, I just couldn't quite blink away from him in time. Alright, where are you at, you bastard? Right there. Have a Fireball 2. How's that feel? Shouldn't be using fireball tool on those guys. Uh, Alright, let's get our stuff. 
and get the stuff off of you. And I don't remember where the chest is. I do not. Is it up here somewhere? Not that I can see. They don't usually put the chest right by the entrance. Oops. We don't want to go down there. Whatchamacallit? Spawner thingy. This is a normal chest. Oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> we'll take it. What does this do? It gives us 20% um, magic damage. And one minute extra in the shroud. It's really good. Oh, I wonder if the chest is up this way. Oh, hello. Damn it, Jim. There it is. Um... Glad we came back for it, because that's a gold chest, too. We might get something really good out of it. Alright, what you got, Mink? <laughs> Alright. I want to see if that's better than what we have. Not enough stamina. Okay. So, let's see. We're sporting a level 16 Elder Staff. This is a level 11 Undergrowth Staff. And we get four thingamadoodles of mana regeneration and leech 5% damage as mana. Once this is fully upgraded, it might it might do the trick for us. Right, let's switch these out right now. I should have done that already. I'm just salvage that straight up. This is Arsonist Bow level 15 compared to level 10 Silver Shot. Yeah, it doesn't matter for these because, as you know, we just use them for traps. Okay. So that bow may not do the damage as you know that our other one does but it's got some nice other benefits to compensate for that um also we got three points let's do lightning then we'll hit this intelligence next and then we'll go into the end of the wizard tree when attacking with a magical weapon, your critical hit chance is increased by 10%. That's really good. On a critical hit with a magical weapon, the attack will automatically hit a second enemy with within 15 meters for 5 shock damage per intelligence. Critical attack with a magical weapon will hit only for 2 shock damage per intelligence. Yeah, we don't really do sh shroud damage. So yeah, we'll probably finish this whole entire tree out. Because that's pretty good stuff. Um... And um, we are now just as powerful with lightning as we are with fire, except for that I don't have a lightning two spell yet. Let's test it out. He managed to tag us, bastard. I 
I like lightning. It's just fun. <laughs> it's my favorite. Mana. It took him a while to die. He was dead. He just didn't know it. Pause the screen to read that. I'll take the health pot. Uh, here. Heal channel. All right. Another elixir well has been dealt with. Poor Kelvin. Um, you know, we're so damn close to the hidden hunting grounds. Let's just go try and get it knocked out. This is going to be a long episode, but since when are my episodes not long episodes? They're always long episodes. Oh, how do we get out of here, though? Um, we might have to go to here and see if we can scooch up this little thingy here. What's that? Oh, that's Lone Thistle. Okay, yeah. Over this way. Hmm, I don't know how scoochable that is. Oh, shit. How about we switch back to an offensive spell? Oh, they resist that. Hmm, maybe shroud creatures are resistant to shock. I know that the the vultures in whatchamacallit place, you know, the desert area, those guys are very weak to lightning. How do I get out of this shroud, man? Well, I mean, if it's going to be this much fucking around, we might as well just go back here and teleport out. Nighttime noises are so damn scary in this game. Uh, all right. Here, we got a we got a thing there. And I also have a workbench that we can repair real quick. Look at that. No. Okay. We don't need this. We wanted to upgrade that, but we can't do that till we get back home. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And this. And this. I think we'll keep everything else. All right. Let's go do this hunting grounds thing. We already have a waypoint set for it, and we can also test of skill. I think that's the one. Mark it. Do I have? Yeah, I've got one more of these. Okay, let's go do it. Is there a bed? I don't know if there's a sleepable bed in there or not. Now, well, hopefully it'll turn to daylight before our light spell wears out. And let's go get another spark, too, whilst we're here. Oh, look at that. Light potion. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. All right. We need one of these. And one of these. And one of these. Oh, 
Oh, he's resistant to lightning. Okay, let's go to fireball. Got a poison hat. this way. Straight across here. I don't remember what happens in these hunting grounds. Oh shit. Oh shit! Didn't see you. Everything wants to eat me. Stamina. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, we triggered that. In case we bite the dust. So, what do we do? Go this way? Maybe go through the cave to get there? Here, we might as well pick some of these. Oh, this is a Vuka cave. Let's uh, pop this. Hello up there. Is this taking me where I want to go? I don't know. Oh, that's not Deadly Shroud, is it? It just looks that way because of the red stuff. Fort Kelvin. I don't think this is the way we were supposed to go, but we do have a gold chest here. Yeah, I already have two of those. Really wish we could break those damn things down. Yeah, I think we're in the wrong... Well, are we in the wrong place? Yeah, I think we are. Let's go back. Come on. 
Come on, nighttime, get over. All right, let's go this way. We're pretty close to it. What happened to you? One of those big minis kill you. What was that? Oh, we got uh, one of the obelisk thingies here. I think this is it. All right. Pause the screen to read that. And we just finished test of skill. Why that took a test of skill, I'm not entirely sure, but there you have it. Okay, guys. That is going to wrap up this episode. Let's head on back home. And um, we'll probably do pretty much more or less the same thing in the next episode. We'll start off by doing a little bit of work around the base here. And then go out and do some more questing. Uh, I want to get this other... Didn't we have another elixir well? Yeah. We did this one. We need to get that one taken care of. That's possibly a shroud root there. That's the next Revelwood dungeon. Don't know what that stuff is over there either. So we can maybe investigate some of that. We do have an altar down next to um, Pike Meads. And there's a few things we need to do there too. So we'll uh, check all that stuff out in the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.